Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On this video, I'm going to be making a lamb burger with caramelized onion and fig relish and goat cheese. Let's get going. So I've actually had several requests to do a lamb burger, so I thought I better get to it. I'm using the Weber. I've got the Craycourt down, the Ballistic griddle. In this little quadrant right here, I have no charcoal, and then I have charcoal underneath this cast iron skillet. The reason I'm doing that is I'm going to be caramelizing the onions in here, and if it starts to get a little too hot, I can just move it over. We don't have little knobs or anything, so you have to kind of get creative with the temperature control. So I'm going to add a little bit of, this is avocado oil, and I like avocado oil just simply because it has got one of the highest smoking points but canola, any of the high temp oils would work. So what I'm gonna do now is just start sweating these onions out. All right, as you can see, the onions have become translucent and they're actually starting to develop that caramelized color now. We're gonna get some figs into the party. These are some preserved figs and they actually were whole in a jar with some, like a syrup, and I diced them up to smaller pieces. So at this point, it just takes patience. I'm continuously stirring, and if I see that it's getting a little too hot, again, I'm just going to push this off the heat, let it cool a little bit. All right, after a lot of patience, as you can see, it's really looking caramelized now. The smells really good. But we've got a lot of sweet on sweet here, so I wanna get this balanced out a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of apple cider vinegar, just, just to pump in a little bit of acid. A little bit of kosher salt and a pinch of cayenne pepper. All right, this is looking good. I'm going to get it off to the side here now. Now it's time to cook that lamb patty, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the griddle with just a little bit of oil. Here's that lamb patty. I'm going to season it with a little bit of kosher salt and get it on the flat top. Some nice fresh buns, toast these guys up. Season that other side of the patty with some salt. Got a nice toast going on. All right, get this patty flipped. Get some of that onion mixture on here. A dollop of goat cheese. While the burger's finishing up, I'm just going to spread some mayo. I wanted something kind of kind of light, not too strong on the flavor on the bottom bun here, so to help seal it in. And I'm going with arugula. I wanted, again, it's got that nice peppery flavor, but I just felt there needed to be something green on here. All right, let's put this thing together. That is a pretty sexy looking lamb burger. Let's give this a try here. There you go, kind of a medium rare, how I like my lamb. Mm. You know, there's a lot going on here, a lot of flavors, but there's not too many, if that makes any sense. This onion and fig concoction I came up with really accentuates the flavor of the lamb. The lamb is really good. It's not that real gamey lamb. It's just a nice fresh flavor. Buns, I just went with a classic hamburger bun. And the pepperiness of that arugula with the kind of saltiness, the savoriness of that goat cheese, it's really good. I love this. Anyway, guys, as usual, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Appreciate the request. See you on the next video. Cheers.